TikTok challenge is disrupting the school day across districts all over the country. And trashing bathrooms, the challenge encourages students to steal and vandalize school property. Cassie Williams, live or one local high school, says it will up the ante to put an end to this. Yeah, the principal here at Port Washington High School is warning parents and students he may have to close down bathrooms if this continues. He says if, ki if kids don't turn in the stolen property by the end of the day Monday, he will call police. At Port Washington High School, custodians have been busy keeping bathrooms stocked, towel and soap dispensers disappearing. When you start to destroy property or to steal property, you're, you're overstepping the line. Principal Thad Gabriels is keeping a close eye on the bathroom situation after learning about a TikTok challenge called Deviant Lick. It encourages students to vandalize school property, specifically bathrooms. A quick search on the app, you find videos from all around the country. This is the first time I've encountered something through TikTok that has had a negative impact on our building school wide, and it's had an impact on all of our kids. Uh, because they need the resources as much as we do and want to make sure that those resources are in place for their education. Gabriel sent a letter home to parents Friday. He is hoping students will come forward themselves and stop the vandalism before more serious action is needed. We have a great population of students here and uh, it definitely doesn't represent the majority of our kids, but it is something that we, we need to look at. If dispensers keep disappearing, Gabriel says bathrooms will start getting locked. If it does continue to spiral out of control, we will then need to shut down many of our bathrooms and make some changes. Now, parents at Horning Middle School in Waukesha got a similar letter today. Administrators there also saying they will need to start closing bathrooms if things get worse. Live in Port Washington, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. It's frustrating, and it is happening all over the country. Cassidy, thank you.